Hello fellow bookquesters, it is I, Aaron the Bookquester. So today, I have this great, awesome book. Skullduggery Pleasant, Midnight. The clock is ticking, Derek Landy, book 11 of the Skullduggery Pleasant series. And it's a great book. And the main villain is a guy named Cadaverous Gant. And his magical power is that he's kind of the god when he's inside his own house. His magic is bound to his own house, his own realm. And in that house, no one, not even a god, can kill Cadaverous God. And Cadaverous God, who had been a part of Amnesia, the crazy EX girlfriend of Skullderly Pleasant's evil plan to, you know, enlighten, destroy, rule the world, to book stuff. And Skullderly and Valkyrie, they're trying to stop her. And right now, the objective, is, uh, the objective of Amnesia is that she is looking for her son, Kaison, who ha just happens to be Skullderly's son. Yeah, I know, it was super awkward when he found out. And, and Cadaverous Gaunt, he kidnapped dear Valkyrie's sister and Kaysan, Amnesia's little son. And when that happened, Amnesia and Skullduggery has to team up to fight. Well, their common enemy, the enemy of my enemy is my friend. You heard of that phrase? Phrase? Not necessarily, but still, you know what I mean, right? And Amnesia and Skullduggery, they team up. And when they do, it's possibly uh, the worst combination ever. In this book, we find out that Amnesia, Amnesia is actually the heir of the faceless ones. The dark gods that once ruled this world but was driven out by the first sorcerers, the Ancients. And Valkyrie was descended from the Ancients, but Amnesia was descended from the first faceless one that decided to look like a mortal. And she had the power of the gods. She was the queen of the Dark Lands. And they knew that her son Kaisan was destined to be the king of the dark land and bring horror to this world. And Valkyrie Kane and Skullgrave Pleasant team up once again to save the world and save her sister. And when they save the sister, could Valkyrie cope with the terrible truth that she finds out that was there that had triggered her guilt since Skullgrave Pleasant, the dying of the light? Only time can tell, or. In this situation, a book. A book called Bedlam. Skullduggery Pleasant, number 12. And great book, guys. Uh, a must read. And, like always, your book quester and the book quester. Guys, the thing is, these days, Skullduggery Pleasant is becoming more and more boring. You see, from number one, Skullduggery Pleasant, until the dying of the light, it had one definitive purpose to defeat Darkwest. It built it up to that final moment. And now this EX girlfriend of Skullduggery Pleasant is running around killing people. Well, right now, I'm literally just reading it to find out what the heck is going on with Valkyrie Kane and Skullduggery Pleasant's life. I mean, if there was Bedlam, Midnight, and Resurrection out there, that's the second series, of the Skullduggery Pleasant series, I couldn't bear to live with the guilt that there are Skullduggery Pleasant books that I haven't read. So guys, if you don't want to read it, don't read it. But if you read it, you you can be assured that it's a great book and a humorous one too.